Hello everyone, today we are going to see one problem based on 3 hinged parabolic arch. Let's read the question one time. A 3 hinged parabolic arch of span 20 meter and rise 8 meter. The span is given as 20 meter and the rise is given as 8 meter. Using that we can draw the arch. It carries a UDL of 40 kN per meter over the left half span. You can see that we have drawn UDL of 40 kN per meter on the left half. Find out reactions and resultant reactions and evaluate the bending moment, horizontal thrust and radial shear at a section 8 meter from the left hinge. Also find the maximum negative and positive bending moment and draw the BMD. In this question, first let us calculate the reactions and resultant reactions. In this arch, first I am going to find out the vertical reaction at the point A, VA. For that, I am going to take moment about the point B. In this case, I am moving towards the right hand side. The right hand side rules are here, clockwise positive, anti-clockwise negative. The vertical reaction at the point A, VA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction, so positive, and the distance is 20 meter, so 20 VA. The UDL 40 kN per meter is acting towards the point B in the anti-clockwise direction, so negative. It is acting for a distance of 10 meter, so 40 into 10. Then we have to take the half of the 10 meter, that is 10 by 2. Then we have to consider this distance also because we are taking movement about B. So there is a gap of 10 meter. So we have to add that also. Finally, we are getting VA is equal to 300 kilonewton. For calculating the value of VB, I have to find out the total load. The total load is 40 into 10 meter because when the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance to get the total load. So total load is 400 kilonewton. Then we can calculate VB very easily. The total load minus VA. VA is 300 kN. We can apply. Finally, we are getting VB is equal to 100 kN. Now we are going to find out the horizontal thrust. For that, I am going to take movement about the crown, which is at point C. I am going to take movement from the point A. In this case also, we are moving towards the right hand side. The rules are here. Clockwise positive, anti-clockwise negative. The vertical reaction at the point A, 300 kN, is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction. So positive and the distance is uh, 10 meter, so 300 into 10. The horizontal thrust H is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction. So negative and the distance is 8 meter, the rise of the arch. So minus H into 8. The UDL 40 kN per meter is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction. So negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. So 10 into 5. Then we are getting minus 8H plus 1000. We can take the 1000 on the right side. Then we can cut this negative and negative. Finally, we are getting H is equal to 125 kN. We can take movement from B also. It will be easy for us. Because we are not having any load on the right half. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. The left hand side rules are here. Clockwise negative, anti-clockwise positive. The vertical reaction at B is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction. So positive. And the distance is 10 meter. So 100 into 10. The horizontal thrust is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction. So negative and the distance is 8 meter, then we are getting minus 8h plus 1000 is equal to 0. We can take the 1000 on the right side, it will become negative. Then we can cut this negative and negative. Finally, we are getting h is equal to 125 kN. You can follow this step or this step, whichever is easier for you. Now, we can find out the resultant reaction Ra and Rb. The resultant reactions will occur in between the horizontal thrust and the vertical reactions. First, I am going to find out the resultant reaction Ra. The formula is here. Root of Ba square plus H square. Here we can apply both of the values. We have already found 300 and 125. Finally, we are getting Ra is equal to 325 kN. If you wanted to know the location of resultant reaction, we can use the formula tan inverse Ba by H. Using that, we can get the angle. 
In this angle, the resultant reaction Ra is acting. Now we can find out the resultant reaction Rb. The formula is here Vb square plus H square. The Vb is here 100 kN and the H is 125. We can apply. Finally, we are getting Rb is equal to 160.08 kN. Here also, if you wanted to know where it is acting, we have to find out the angle theta B. The formula is here tan inverse VB by H. We can apply the VB and H value. Finally, we are getting the angle theta B. In this question, now we are going to calculate the bending moment, horizontal thrust, and radial shear at a section 8 meter from the left hinge. In this arch at 8 meter, I have made a point D. At this point, we have to calculate the bending moment. For that, we need to find out the height. We know the formula for finding out the height. Yx is equal to 4hx into L minus x by L square. Here, h is the rise of the arch, 8 meter. We can apply. The x value is also 8. We can apply. Length is 20. Finally, we are getting yd is equal to 7.68 meter. Now, we can calculate the bending moment at 8 meter from the left hinge. Here also we are moving towards the right hand side. The right hand side rules are here clockwise positive, anti clockwise negative. The vertical reaction 300 kN is acting towards point D in the clockwise direction. So positive and the distance is 8 meter. So 8. The horizontal thrust 125 kN is acting towards the point D in the anti clockwise direction. So negative. So, minus 125 into the height, we have already calculated 7.68, we can apply. Then we are having UDL, 40 kN per meter, it is acting towards the point D in the anti-clockwise direction. It is also negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2, so 8 into 4. Finally, we are getting 160 kN. Now, we are going to find out the radial shear and normal thrust. For that, we have to calculate the Vx and theta values. Vx means the shear force at the point. Theta means the slope. First, let us calculate the slope value. Here is the formula. Slope theta is equal to tan inverse 4h by L square into L minus 2x. We can apply the values. Here, small h is rise of the arch, 8 meter. We can apply. L is 20. The value of x also 8 meter. We can apply. Finally, we are getting tan inverse uh, 0 0.32. Then we are getting theta is equal to 17.74. Also, we have to calculate the shear force at the point D, that is VD. Up to this point D, we are having two forces. The vertical reaction 300 kN and the UDL 40 kN per meter. In this case also, I am moving towards right hand side. The right hand side rules are here. Upwards positive, downwards negative. This is the rule we have to follow when we calculate the shear force value. The vertical reaction 300 kN is acting upwards, so positive. The UDL 40 kN per meter is acting downwards, so negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance to get the shear force. So 40 into 8. Finally, we are getting minus 20 kN. Now, we have found the values of slope and the shear force. Now, we can apply in these two formulas. After applying the formulas, we will be getting ND and RD. In this question, we have to find out the maximum negative and positive bending moments. Let us calculate them now. The maximum positive bending moment can occur on the left side or right side. For finding out where it occurs, we have to look at the reactions and the loads. The reaction at the point A, VA is 300 kN, but the reaction at the point B, VB is 100 kN. So, we are having bigger value at the point A. Also, on the left side, we are having load. On the right side, there is nothing. So, we can come to the conclusion. The maximum positive bending moment will be occurring on the left side of the arch. So, we have to make one section on the left side. I have made one section. You can see that. And I have given the name XX. This section is having the horizontal distance of X from the point A. In this section, I am going to find out the moment. For that, I need this height. We know the formula for height. Yx is equal to 4hx into L minus x by L square. Here we can apply h value, that is rise of the arch, 8 meter. Also, length is 20 meter, we can apply. Finally, we are getting 0.08 into 20x minus x square. Now, I am going to find out the moment. 
Here also I am moving towards right hand side. The rules are here clockwise positive, anti clockwise negative. The vertical reaction 300 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction, so positive, and the distance is x. The UDL 40 kN per meter is acting towards the section in the anti clockwise direction, so negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. So, x into x by 2, we will get x square by 2. The horizontal thrust 125 kN is acting towards the section in the anti-clockwise direction. So, negative. So, minus 125 into the height we have already made. Then, we can make some simplifications. 40 by 2, we will be getting 20. Then, we can multiply 125 into 0 0.08. We will get 10. Then we can multiply this 10 with these two values. We will get minus 200x plus 10x square. Then we can add 300x minus 200x. We will get 100x. Also we can add minus 20x square plus 10x square. We will be getting minus 10x square. To find out this distance x, there is a rule. When we differentiate mx with respect to x, we will be getting 0. Using that we can calculate the value of x. When we differentiate 100x, it will become 100. When we differentiate 10x square, it will become 2 into 10x, so 20x. Finally, we are getting x is equal to 5 meter. Now we can calculate the maximum positive bending moment. We can apply the x value. So 100 into 5 minus 10 into 5 square, we will be getting 250 kN meter. Now we are going to find out the maximum negative bending moment. I have already explained how to locate the position. We already know the positive bending moment is occurring on the left side. So the maximum negative bending moment must be occurring on the right side. So on the right side I have made one section and I have given the name as x and x. It is having the horizontal distance of x from the point B. Here also we need to find out the value of height. We know the formula. We can apply L and rise values. Finally we are getting 0 0.08 into 20x minus x square. The previous step also we have done the same. Now we are going to calculate the negative bending moment from the point B. Now I am moving towards the left hand side. The rules are here. Clockwise negative, anti-clockwise positive. The vertical reaction 100 kN is acting towards the section in the anti-clockwise direction. So positive. And the distance is x. So 100x. The horizontal thrust 125 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction, so negative. Also we got the height, we can apply here. Here we can multiply 125 into 0 0.08, we will get 10. 10 into 20x, 200x. Minus 10 into minus x square, we will get positive 10x square. Then 100x minus 200x, we will be getting minus 100x. For finding out the value of x, we have already seen the condition. When we differentiate mx with respect to x, we will get 0. When we differentiate minus 100x, we will get a minus 100. When we differentiate x square, it will become 2x. So 2 into 10, we will get 20. In this way, we can calculate the value of x. We can apply the value of x in mx equation. After applying, we are getting the maximum negative bending moment is equal to minus 250 kN meter. Now we are going to draw the bending moment diagram. Before drawing bending moment diagram, let us calculate the bending moment at the crown. It will be 0. We also calculate that and prove that it is 0. For that, I am going to take moment about the crown from the point B. It will be easy for me because I am having only two loads. In this case, I am moving towards the left hand side, clockwise negative, anti-clockwise positive. The vertical reaction 100 kN is acting towards the ground in the anti-clockwise direction, so positive and the distance is 10 meter. The horizontal thrust 125 kN is acting towards the ground in the clockwise direction, so negative and the distance is 8 meter, we can apply. Finally, we are getting 0. Now we can draw the bending moment diagram. At the crown, the moment is 0. Also, we have already calculated the positive bending moment is occurring on the left side at 10 meter from the point A. The negative bending moment is occurring on the right side from the point B at 10 meter. For the first half, the arch is having UDL. So we have to draw like a curved shape. 
on the right to half there is no load we can draw a straight line like this if the moment is positive we have to draw above the arch if the moment is negative we have to draw below the arch on the right side it is very easy to draw the bending moment diagram because on the right side we do not have any load so from the crown we have to make a straight line towards the point b because there will be no moment at the a point and at the b point so that we can connect the crown and the b point like this at a 10 meter distance from the point a we are having the maximum positive bending moment and at a 10 meter from the point b we are having the maximum negative bending moment we can enter the value now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video